All right, so here's number 29 on your worksheet, um, finding compound volume. Um, so we're going to find the total volume of this Erlen Meyer flask. There go. I think that's how you say it. Okay, and so that's made up of a cone right here, and then it's made up of a cylinder. Okay, but notice right here there's a mini cone that we are going to subtract out. So the whole thing we're going to do is find the cone, so the big cone, that's right here, and then we need to subtract this mini cone off of it because we don't want that anymore. So subtract mini cone, and then our last step will be to add on this cylinder right here. Okay. Um, so let's go ahead and start. Step one is to find the volume of the cone. And don't forget you're supposed to memorize these. The formula for the volume of the cone is pi r squared times the height all divided by 3. So the cone is exactly one third of a cylinder. So I'm going to rewrite this, and don't forget that we're using 3.14 per 4 pi. So we'll have 3.14 times r squared, and in this case, r would be this distance here. So if the diameter is 20, then the radius would be 10 centimeters. So I'm going to plug in 10 right here. And then I'm going to plug in my height. That's the distance from the bottom of the cone to the point. Okay, and so that's going to be 20 plus 10, which is 30 centimeters. So I'm going to plug in 30 right here. And then don't forget that this whole thing has to be divided by 3. Then I'm just going to quickly plug this into my calculator. Um, well, I could do it by hand, but this will be faster. So 3.14 times 10 squared, which is 100, then times 30, divide that by 3, and you get 3,140. And that's centimeters cubed, or cubic centimeters. Okay, so there's the first part. Um, so you can go ahead and pause this, make sure you have that copied down. Then we're going to move on to mini cone, so I'm going to erase this so we have a little bit more space. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to just write our answer over here so I don't forget it. 3,140 centimeters cubed. Now we're going to move on to the mini cone, so step two. We're still using the same formula, so pi r squared times the height all over 3. So then I'll have um, 3.14 times the radius squared. Radius squared, um, which in this case, here's the bottom of the mini cone. And so the radius would be this distance, which is the same as the radius up here. So it would actually be 2 centimeters. And then we're going to do times the height, which again is the distance from the bottom to the point, which would be 10 centimeters. And then we'll divide that whole thing by 3. So you're going to type this in the calculator. So 3.14 times 2 squared, which is 4, times 10, and then divide that by 3. We get 41.86 repeated. Now don't forget you're supposed to round this, and we round to the second decimal place, the hundredths place. So our final answer is going to be 41.87 cubic centimeters.
There you go, there's the mini cone. Um, go ahead and pause this and make sure you have it copied down. Otherwise, I'm going to erase this and move on. Okay. And I'm going to write this down over here so I don't forget. 41.87 cubic centimeters. Then we'll do the final step which is the cylinder. And so the volume formula for this is pi r squared h or pi times the radius squared times height. So 3.14 times radius squared which is right here we already found it earlier. So it would be 2 centimeters. And then we're going to multiply that by the height, which would be from the base of the cylinder to the top of the cylinder. Okay, and so that's 10 centimeters. And then just type this in. So 3.14 times 2 squared, which is 4, then times 10. And that's 125.6 cubic centimeters. Um, and you can go ahead and pause this for right now. Otherwise, I'm just going to erase and move on. So that one was 25.6 cubic centimeters. So then our final step is to just do what I had written earlier. The cone minus the mini cone. And then add the cylinder. So I'm going to do exactly that. So the cone is 3140 cubic centimeters. And then I'm going to minus uh, the mini cone, which is 41.87 cubic centimeters. Um, and then we'll add the cylinder, which is 125.6 cubic centimeters. So 3140 minus 41.87. And that gives us 3098.13. And then we still need to add our cylinder to this. So I'll add this together. So plus 125.6. Then our final answer is 3223.73 cubic centimeters. And there you go. There's your final answer to this question. If you want to see the other compound volume uh, problems from your worksheet, go ahead and look up the other videos.